When you say the commands cache document or cache selection, you're telling MaxSpeech Dictate to learn the contents of the whole document or text that's been selected. Normally you don't want to mix your voice or dictation with using your hands, such as typing or moving the mouse. But these commands can help you when you change the text without dictation. Use cache document or cache selection when you open up a document that already has text in it. New paragraph. Enter or delete text to the keyboard or key commands. New paragraph. Use the mouse to move the cursor. New paragraph. Cut or paste text by key or voice. Go to sleep. Whoops, I made a few mistakes in there. And just to show you, I'm going to use the mouse and the keyboard to fix them. But then I'll need to use the cache document command. I'll change the word to to through. Wake up. Select the word key. Cache document. Select the word key. Keyboard. Go to sleep. Wasn't that easy? There's another command, cache selection, which you can use if you want to work with just a selection of text at a time. Cache document or cache selection work with text in most any document, even when it's not created by dictate. One thing to remember, do any phrase training before you use cache document. Afterwards, the train the words command won't work on that dictation. However, you can dictate some new text and use train the words with it and of course you can now navigate and edit by voice. So to summarize, use cache document or cache selection to work with text that was not dictated. Then you can safely and easily navigate and edit the text. Thanks for using MaxSpeech Dictate.